the initial sort of epiphany that you know I had that that led to hoop dreams and at least led to the initial idea of hoop dreams was you know that I grew up playing basketball and you know I grew up playing around a lot of and with a lot of African American ball players uh, throughout my life and so the initial really impetus for me and the epiphany was to try and do a film that gets at what is it about this game that speaks to urban African-American culture. And as, as it evolved, it became clearer and clearer that the hoop dream, in a sense, was standing in for the American dream for a lot of these families. I'm interested in individual stories. One of the reasons they attract me is because I feel on some level that those stories have something larger to say about the world we live in. They're not just an interesting person with an interesting story to tell, um, but that their lives or what they're pursuing or what they're fleeing or what they're battling against really says something larger. And I love the notion of intimate epics. And I think it's what we're doing with this film now called The Interrupters. Um, films in which we're trying to take you as deep as we can into the lives of a few people. What are you yeah. shooting? We're shooting um, one of our interrupters, uh, uh, his grandmother celebrating his, her 80th birthday at her bar. You know, myself as a filmmaker, and I think that speaks for this place too, Kartemquin, is that we want to tell true stories, complicated stories, real stories, in which we, we get you as a viewer to grapple with the, the complexities of people's lives and what they, those lives have to say about the world we live in. Who's going to tell the stories that need to be told in depth? I mean, I think one of the things that um, public media does that's essential is it just grabs us by the lapels and says, you know what, pay attention to this. You may have read about it one day in the paper two years ago and thought, huh, wow. And then, you know, you went on to the next thing and the next day's news and the next day's tragedies and the next day's, you know, whatever, and forgot about it. And so someone comes along and they say, you know what, no, wait, that, that's not something that should be just yesterday's news. I'm going to make a film about that. I'm going to really get into that and I'm going to spend time with that. And then I'm going to come back and show it to you and say, this is significant. I think that's one of the essential things that, that public media, the role it plays.